What's up guys, just wanted to do a quick video of my 10 gallon do-it-yourself sump refugium. Uh, we'll kind of go through the plans that I had when making it here, you know, how I actually set up and and uh, how it's working so far. So we can go ahead and get into it here. And uh, all of the glass that I use, it's 9 and 3 quarters inches wide. Uh, but we'll get that in, in, into that in a second here. Um, this first section of the sump is set up for my skimmer. Um, this is 7 inches across by 8 inches tall uh, to give my skimmer a constant water level of 8 inches. Uh, then it kind of goes down into a little waterfall into the refugium section which I have about 4 inches of uh, fine sand which this is the sand that I had in my uh, 10 gallon setup so it had already been cycled and different things like that but I have uh, some Kato Morph in there uh, a little ball of Kato some rubble rock, some hermit crabs, a few different things. Uh, this side is six and a half inches tall. So it's a little taller on this side just because I wanted that for the skimmer. Uh, so it flows down into the bubble trap which I have and it's one inch across each way and there's a one inch gap down at the bottom for it to kind of flow down and up and over. Uh, this glass is six inches tall to go down to the return pump section. On this side I just have a, a bag of carbon and my return pump which is 700 gallons per hour. Uh, I've got it dialed back here on the ball valve a uh, little over halfway. But yeah that's basically it. In the skimmer section here I now have a uh, eShops or ES Hops PSK 75. Uh, I'm digging this skimmer so far. It, you know, it's a perfect size for my cabinet. It's not too tall like the Aqua Sea Urchin I had before, which I could barely even squeeze the collection cup out of that. Uh, and it's working really good. It's kind of set to a wet skim. I just cleaned it last night, uh, but all this was brown and just disgusting. Uh, we'll take the cap off and kind of you know, show you how nasty that stuff is. Uh, the light, just, you know, just a Walmart clamp lamp with a compact fluorescent bulb. I've uh, been running that one 24-7, you know, pretty much since I've set it up. Uh, the water line, in case my siphon breaks or something like that, it would filter right there. So, I mean, basically just, you know, a couple of gallons from overflowing, but it's perfect. Uh, this is where I like to keep the water line here. can't really see that line, but I like to keep it right there. It's a little bit below that now. Um, here is the minimum. But the way I've got this uh, set up in the skimmer section, um, so the water comes in from the overflow block box. I'm sorry, uh, into this section. I took the filter sock out just to kind of keep from detritus and you know building nitrates. Uh, little in tank hydrometer and a bag of carbon that's right in front of the skimmer outlet, so it kind of flows through that bag there before it gets out into the main the main sump area little got salt sticker got that for a buck off of eBay I thought that was a nice touch uh, but basically guys I mean that is pretty much it I just wanted to uh, give you a run through of the of the sump and and show you how I've got it set up here it's working pretty good so far if you have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below and I'll be making a few more updates here to come so please stay tuned thanks for watching peace out